Hi guys, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. It's a Sunday afternoon around 3.40 Pacific time. Hoping you can join me for a quick um, car making live stream video. So this is the first time that I am trying to do the live stream with a Facebook live stream. Hoping everything runs smoothly. Hi Susie, sorry I was kind of having some technical issue. Hoping we can get a uh, um um connect with everybody. Hi Mike, how are you? How's everything doing from the Illinois and the Orlando? Two more weeks, two more weeks we are coming to Orlando. So today um looks like I gotta connect on the Facebook and I gotta connect on the YouTube too. So that's the, uh, let me see, just uh, pop out everything here. And uh, we are going to do a quick project. Okay, let's see. We've got live charting. This one is good. So the Facebook one, let me pop out the Facebook window too. So that way I can see all the message. So if I miss your message, Please forgive me. I am just me. Try to do, let's uh, grab my channel. Hi, Melissa, how are you? So let me see. Everything's good. Everybody can hear me well. So that's do just make my screen a little bit smaller. So that way I can just uh, Let's just uh, track the skin to the right side and the left side. Okay, so how's my, my sound system is good? Okay, that's uh, do it. So if I miss your message, I will come back to, um, I will come back to check your message later. Just like do this one. See me, okay, common. See, can I see? Oh, yeah, I got it here. So I'm going to turn the voice down. Okay, very clear. Okay, so that's it started. Um, I am going to um show you guys how to make a lazy car and i don't know did you guys uh, got the chance to watch uh, watch the la last uh, life's uh, stream i was uh, share with you guys uh, how to create the least uh, embossing without uh, hi Ivan. i was uh, um, showing you guys how to do the embossing without uh, using embossing folder you can um, use any kind of um, paper die cut or um, thin die cut, big die cut. And then uh, I thought the big, uh, I thought the Cizik doesn't really make a big die anymore. But the, some of you guys uh, told me you guys they are still doing it, so it's good. But I don't know how unless the big die is something really unique. Um, I don't uh, because it's kind of pricey and it's very it take a lot of space and also. Um, it's very he heavy. I don't know how many of you will um willing to buy the the big die. Okay, so if you haven't got a chance to watch how to create the, those embossing, make sure you check the local king um YouTube library. You can um, just click the last video, the love life video, and then um you can learn how to do that. Today, I actually I am going to share with you guys how to create the list card. It's also part of embossing. So the background, you can see there's a kind of frame, right? Maybe from the back, you can see better. Is it just some kind of decoration? And then, but we are actually going to working on or um, die cut image. This is, a, you can see also in, it's embossing, right? So we are going to use our Mr. London Frog. So they, those A set is just perfect because you can just uh, pick up partially the image to do, do the coloring like uh, Lisa Coneflower I just use a part of the butterfly and the Lisa Humming Blooming I just use a hummingbird the puffy cheek you can do just a scroll the I mean monk chick monk 
<coughs> and today we're going to do the Mr. London frog. You can just do the frog area and you also can do the the water lily part too. So, and this is a Christmas uh, joy ride. So it's totally depends on you what you do. This is what uh, look like uh, when you have the full color, which is pretty too, but maybe sometime um, you, you don't have enough time to make a, a quick cut, a quick car, you probably just want to cover like a partially image and still can make a beautiful car. So it's just a kind of one way to cheat too, but uh, the person who receive car, they won't know it because it looks just awesome. And also, or Mr. London frog, most of the frog are kind of like a green, right? But they do have a rainforest uh, frog. It's like a very colorful yellow, black, orange, um, like a bloody red. So, but so for because the water lily pad is also green and the, sometimes if your frog is green, it kind of like a blending in. So when I do the coloring, I kind of usually I will use a different color to color the frog. So that way my frog is not the blending with my water lily. So I kind of want my frog to pop out, right? But today's video, I want to have a green frog. So when I want to have a green frog, I want to have my background is uh, not green so this uh, white color I think is uh, perfect to um to for this project okay so that's uh, that's just uh, put this one away and I already um this is what I like to do is that uh, I usually like to stamp few of the image and because I'm using a copy marker and copy marker you got to use a special ink like a memento so that way when you use the alcohol marker they are not going to um, bleed right so usually I will stamping with uh, like a fine stamp image and then I will just use a laser printer to print a, a lot of them so that way every time I want to use it I always have some image ready um, for me to do it so that's uh, what's the, the 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 black and white stamp image look like and then so I already um, did the one cut and then you know or die cut is really detailed uh, from the front you probably cannot see it but uh, from the back you can see his little toe is all pop out and then those water lily also have some kind of pre-cut so if i want you to just cut from like a, from the sc scratch it's kind of hard because uh, it's too many details especially like this one the humming along is very detailed so but this one because we already you can take a look at a lot of pre-cut uh, um, pre-cut so you just have to use the uh, uh, fine scissors it's only partially you need to cut. You don't have to cut the from like a beginning. Does that make sense? Hi, Sandy. Okay, my hair kind of look fussy. I took a boo boo outside for a walk and it was raining. And every time when my hair is wet, it's just like. Poof. Okay, so the 2000, um, 2021 fall design, um, all those kind of design. I think since 2008, all the combo set have a double die cut. Okay, so they have a two die cut, uh, outline die cut and the in, inside die cut too, which is perfect. So they have a two one, two die cut. To be able to create this embossing feature, you got to have the die cut have embossing feature. If you don't have those hollow area, when you die cut it, you won't be able to create the embossing. So isn't this like the, you know, before the like a stencil, you remember? Why ago when we want to, we have a kind of stencil like a we like a usually they are like a copper and then you have to have a light table you have to have a stylus you have to run to the machine that's how we get the like uh, embossing right but now all you need is a piece of rubber and then when you use a piece of rubber you can create the embossing just like that okay so the first part we are going to I already did the one we just I just use the outside line and I die cut one and then I am going to just use uh, just a quick demo maybe some of you guys didn't see the um, live stream yesterday so I just want to create like a quick uh, embossing in the back so this is my cheap board and uh, in my last live video I already, I already mentioned it if you don't have a big die cut you are not able to cut uh, like a 
thick chipboard, you can just uh, build out this uh, um, this die by using few sheets of uh, your paper die cut. So I already just put here, and then I'm going to just uh, do a quick embossing. If you guys, uh, oops, if you guys want to know a little bit more how to do the embossing, like a dry embossing with embossing debossing. Uh, without using the embossing folder, just make sure you watch that live stream video. Okay, and then I am going to just uh, do this way, and then we are going to need a piece of rubber. Drop something on the floor. We're gonna need a piece of rubber, and I'm gonna run to the machine. So, how's everybody's weekend going? So, it's a Sunday. Again, time just flies, right? Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, put this one. Every machine is different. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it didn't go through all the way, so I'm going to do... You know what? Let's do this way. It's, uh, it's better. I'm going to just insert this part, okay? Because I don't want to... First of all, this way you add a little bit thickness, so your embossing going to be more relief, and also you don't have to worry about the other side. You 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 get print. The only thing is that uh, um, if you have automatic machine, just be a very very careful. Don't force your um your machine if you hear some kind of like a noise. So that's uh, okay. So that's just a quick demo of or uh, embossing and debossing. You want the debossing, you just kind of rotate it, folding this way. If you want the embossing, like a raising up, you just use side. So don't know what is this. A little bit dirty here. Okay, that's okay. So now we are going to. Okay, we are going to do or plain embossing. Okay, so the plain embossing, we are going to grab a piece of white cardstock. White cardstock. Okay, so I have a piece of white cardstock. And then I am going to put the detail one. We're going to just put on top. So, um,. You can use the Michael's Recollection 100. Hi, Susan. You can use uh, just a 100, or this is actually the Kenson watercolor cardstock. Okay, so we're going to die cut it first. We do die cut first, and we are coming back to do the embossing. Okay. So make sure. Oops. Oop. I should supposed to put it a little bit better, but you can see actually it's already have some kind of um impress. But just in case, I'm gonna just pop back. Hi, Shell. Okay, I'm going to remove my adapter. Okay, I'm going to put my rubber. It's very, very important to have that piece of rubber because without the rubber, you won't be able to do it. And you can see I kind of shim it with uh, just uh, one like uh, extra sheet. I wanted my embossing a little bit deeper. Let's take a look. It's actually pretty good. You can see all the impression. Okay, so if you want it deeper, you just uh, put uh, one more extra sheet, but I think that's uh, good enough. Take this one away. I love this machine, but I think I have actually three, three of these big shots. We used to do 38 shows a year, and uh, um, I keep one machine in Canada for the Canadian show, and I keep one machine in the East, and I keep one machine in the West. Okay, so you can see here is the embossing, right? And then here is my backing. 
That looks nice. And then now we are going to just uh, color or little frog, a little bit coloring. So you can decide you want the, like a full color, but I sometimes find these are a little bit like a too heavy. Okay, depending how important your frame is. I need the eraser. Oh, here is a little bit dirt. We can put a box there, but I'm going to just uh, rotate it. Kind of just like a want to like a plain white, right? So this is a, just all white. It looks kind of plain. So we're going to just uh, color my little frog. So that's how we do that. So uh, frog. So I already pre-cut this one. What you can do is. Uh, you can trimming it first and then do the coloring or you can do the coloring first and do the trimming and uh, i um share this with you guys a while ago i did this uh, swa uh, swatch or what you can do is just uh, you do i use this uh, for my swatch and also i use this one when i want to do the coloring so i'm going to do the coloring and i'm going to just uh, color my frog and then I don't maybe watercolor, uh, maybe water lady. Okay, so that's just bring my camera a little bit to this. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, probably a lot of you guys know we are going to Orlando, right? And then I am actually teaching two classes in Orlando. If you can join us, that would be great. If you cannot join us, uh, um, those two classes are also available on the um, on, my, on the online too. So we're also going to do the online classes uh, workshop too. It's August six and seven. Um, there's two options. You can choose with material or without the material. With the material, basically, you just pay for the material that we're going to use in the class. If you choose without the material, it's only $5. And these $5, I will probably send you some digital files, such as uh, we are going to, for example, we will have some butterflies. And then we maybe um, still think about how we're going to work it so some of the image um, I'm going to um, send it to you and so you can like download it and then you can um, print it and then you can join us there. so that's for the people without the uh, purchase material hi Michelle from Toronto how are you okay so we're gonna do the coloring and uh, I am going to do the frog so I'm going to choose just a few frog color I am going to have uh, red eyes and then this is a oh hoo hoo uh, alcohol marker I did a review compare what's different between oh hoo hoo and the alcohol I mean the COVID marker COVID not COVID every time it's just COVID 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 I was sick last week I thought I have a COVID I actually taste myself five times I didn't have a COVID but I feel so bad when 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 I catch a cold okay so we are going to just uh, coloring. You can do anything you like. And then this Ohuhu marker I got it from Amazon. The price is actually good, but uh, um, it it work well. But uh, um, you know the copay marker is very is good markers too. So it's just a little bit pricey. Working with alcohol markers, you always uh, use uh, two color, one light color, one dark color, and you always start with the lighter color first. If it's not enough, you can add more. Okay, that's a uh, grab a piece of uh, waste testing. So, what did I do is, uh, or if we we are, we just uh, if you only need a like a partially image, what I do is I just stamp like a partially image like this butterfly. I only stand like a, you don't have to waste like the, the, the rest of your image, right? So you can just do like a partial image. They will do like hummingbird, just uh, stamping the hummingbird side. Okay, so for my frog, and then I'm going to just use a light, very, very light color. Okay. I don't know before, I kind of don't like uh, working with uh, like a COVID, COVID, <laughs> COVID, COVID copay marker because I just find out it's kind of take a while to coloring but the things the pandemic I'm um, you know kind of stuck at home and I actually enjoy to use uh, those uh, alcohol markers so that's just a uh, 
So you always start with a one light color, one dark color, and then you kind of just uh, blending with a lighter color. Choosing the color is always the like a hard to like a is oh is the hardest part to start because you don't know which color you, you want to use it right. So kind of just uh, um, what you can do is you can actually testing your marker first before you start, and then remember always start with a lighter color first. If it's not enough, you can add more. Don't start with a too dark, like a darker color. If you start too dark, you cannot make a lighter. Okay, so let's do a little bit. And then um, the, the paper I use is a, like a Kenson watercolor paper. It's a 130 pound thick. And then you always use your lighter color kind of blending. Likely. Okay, so I want to have a, like a red toes. Um, you don't just start with a red. You always use a one tone lighter than the color you want to use. So that way, this one is still too dark. We're going to use a kind of um. This is a kind of orange and red. We are going to build it out. If you just use directly the red color, the toe is going to look like a too red, okay? But if you start with a orange, we're going to cut it out so you don't have to worry if you get a little bit off the line, it's okay. So if we start with a like a, this darker yellow, add a little bit orange and slowly build it out, it's better than you just use a, like a red color. So that's like a, the, the trick how you know some people's uh, coloring is really pretty than other because uh, you know this is the trick you have to build out the color you want a red you don't just use the red you're going to build out with yellow orange and the red so that way your color is more solid okay so like this okay and i'm going to just uh be honest with you, this uh, coloring with the uh, alcohol marker, it kind of uh, need a little bit skill, a little bit practice, but you can do it and see how pretty my little froggy. And then Local King's uh, stamp image is, uh, hi, first time to try here, Manitoba, hi, how are you? And then, so, mm, where, 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 where were I? What was talking? I'm like a Dory, <laughs> you know, finding Nemo Dory, <laughs> always, uh, forget about something okay that's okay so we are going to just keep adding a little bit color and uh, remember you want to color with alcohol marker always have a one light color one dark color and then start with a lighter color and then slowly build out okay that's it okay i think my frog looks very good and then we're going to do working on this uh, water lily just in case we're going to call it that. So what color we're we going to do um, very, very light beige and the uh, pink. How about this? So the center part, I am going to do a little bit peach color or beige color. And then I am going to, let's see from the inside out, outside in. Okay, that's a do from the inside out, kind of like a one direction. Okay, kind of like uh, this. Okay, so from the inside, okay, like this. Try to keep it simple, okay? One direction, one direction, that's it. If you have some white spot, I thought it was about the embossing. Yeah, the first part was embossing. We was uh, doing embossing already. If you want to know more embossing, just uh, watch the um, next uh, video. The first part of this video, I already share how to do the embossing. And then now I'm just working on the final touch. I'm showing how to do these two cards. If you like to know a little bit more about the embossing, um, just watch the, um, this video from the beginning. And then um, my last video, last live video, have more information about the 
this embossing. I will put the link below after I finish this video. So this is a, a very easy to create, how to create this kind of embossing. So you probably already missed the first part of embossing, but uh, that's okay. Come back to watch it from the beginning and there's some trick about the embossing. Okay, so that's just to finish this one. And remember, if you color with a marker, uh, like an alcohol marker, the darker color always start with a little bit, okay? And then we are going to blending it, okay? Just blending it a little bit. And then that's it. So my card is almost finished. Kind of blending it, hide the, the stroke. Okay. There is uh, over 350 YouTube video ready for you to view. I actually know some of you guys watch all the videos. Okay, so that's it. And we are going to use a, a pair of scissors and we're going to just trimming it because you can see the back. We already have a lot of pre-cut. So after you die cut this one, you don't really, um, it's not too, oh, this one is too dirty, my scissors. Well, that will work. So we're going to just uh, trimming this uh, water lily. You only have to lace uh, little tiny pieces still connect with the main car you can easily see how easily i don't even have to trimming i kind of just uh, break it okay so that's part of a special of or die cut because i we already did all the hard work me okay so that's uh, our flowers if you want to um add the flower and then for our little froggy see the froggy the head we don't even have to do anything we can just uh, break it they when i designed this one i put something called the kiss cut so it's just to have a, a little space connect if you want to trimming from the beginning it probably going to um, be a little bit challenge but then now with this kiss cut see how easy oh actually i'm missing some toe in the back that's okay we're going to come back so you can actually kind of just uh, trimming partially see how easy I can easily remove the backing, right? So this toe, I don't even use uh, my scissors. Okay, I think this arm, see this arm? Only this part, you have to trim in a little bit. Okay, like this. Okay, and then the back of this part, you probably have to trim in a little bit. I actually missing one of the toe. I'm going to just uh, come back to fix it because they is already have a lot of a pre cut. So that actually make your job easy. That's it. So I'm missing that little toe area. We're going to just uh, use the uh, color, the toenail color, just the uh, color then. Okay, should we give him some lipstick? Let's give him some lipstick. Remember, we want to give it a lipstick. We don't start with a, like a like a red red. We actually start with some light color first. Okay, give it a little bit base, and then I'm going to slowly add a little bit red. Okay. And then a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to use the light one. You don't have to use the alcohol marker. You can use the watercolor, anything you like. So that's my frog. Okay, so now we are ready. This is our foundation. And then this is our water lily flower. Okay, before we move to the next, I am going to use my magic marshal. Just uh, give a little bit touch out. See, our die cut is already really close, uh, very, very close uh, to the, the stamp image. They don't have that white gap, right? So now I'm going to just give a little bit shadow, just darking around the outline. 
And then for this water, well, you know what? For this water lily flower, we're going to use the green too. They were green before they turned to the flowers. So kind of just, uh, there is a tiny white gap between. Okay, we just give a little bit soft color. Oh, what you can do is you can use uh, those uh, um, nail flyer, kind of just sending around it. Okay, so before we glue everything, so that's my flower, looks really nice. That's my little froggy there. And then I'm going to just add a little bit stamp image in the back because I think the back is too plain. For this one, the humming alone, you see I have a light purple to go with the, my humming bird color. And then this one, I use a uh, orange to go with this one. Hi, A! Yeah, so we are going to just use a very light color. I am going to use these new sprouts from Memento. And then this is, uh, I have been uh, mentioning in my video all the time. When you use those kind of script, image okay make sure i usually put a mark to put one t or one arrow so sometimes i know it all happened to you before we make a beautiful car and then the final touch we want to stamp some script on top like a sentiment and then we didn't pay attention and then or um, script end out to be upside down and that's very painful so for the backing this is the first part of our um, video is to show you how to do the embossing embossing deboss so I was going to do our embossing part by using our chip chip where did the chip go yeah here if you have a big uh, big uh, See, big big cut you can use this chip if you don't have it use uh, three sheets of a hundred pounds uh, recollection card stuff you create the same thing the trick is you got to use a piece of rubber so watch from the beginning of the video you will have uh, more information so because I accidentally make it here it's a bit dirty and I'm kind of like a widow oh, that kind of bothers me so I'm going to just rotate use the other side what you can do is you can stamp your background first before you do your background. But uh, this is how I do my backing. Doesn't really matter because I just want to have a little bit color on top. Look, very pretty, right? So now we're going to mountain oil or froggy and the flowers. Um, it's a good idea to give it some, let me see, the layering. So I think I, did use the, the phone tape for everything. So I'm going to just use the phone tape here. Okay, three and the one here. So there's a lot of uh, stamping tips and uh, I know some of you guys, I know Mike has been followers for a long time. Hi, Shell. So I have been sharing all the awesome technique with you guys all the time. So this is the one just embossing by using or die cut. The outline die cut and the detail die cut is two of them. Yeah. The problem is I can't find, oh, I found my eraser. <laughs> Let me see if I can save it. There you go. Ta-da. Just a cheap dollar store eraser. So if you want to, you know, do the, like a embossing, you can do it too. So I already stamped that one, I'm fine now. And then I'm going to just, uh, well, if you have been following my video, you know I have a, always <laughs> have a fingerprint on my artwork. So let's do this and uh, I'm going to put my little frog there. See, it's just a plain, but uh, isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to do my flowers. Okay, I just put one in the middle and you can see in the back, there's a, a lot of pre-cut, right? So what you're going to do is going to just kind of pop out and then you get a kind of 3D, okay? You can even using um, a pen, something like a cylinder, like a, like a have a curve, you can make your flower more like a 3D. 
I'm going to, and then when you put on top, you don't have to kind of line out. You kind of like a, um, like a, don't put it like exactly the same place. Actually create a more backing. I don't know. I, 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 I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Kind of, um, off the, off that butter, uh, off that water lily. See, if I put exactly the same place, Okay, so where is that place? Where is my? Okay, well, uh, yep, like the. How to put it back? Well, you know what I mean. Just <laughs> try to do the of that by per oh so it's uh, like a uh, afflers you don't have to do anything when you put on top is of that water flower sh water lily shape so it kind of create an extra extra paddle <laughs> well bury me here i'm sure you guys are so smart you are, you know what i'm trying to explain to you right See, it's actually making that water lily more layering. Offset, offset. Thank you, Karen and Sandy. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying. What do you think? I think it is better offset, right? Dimension shadow. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. And then now, see how pretty it is? I know you guys know. You have been following me for a long time. You guys are very smart with this kind of uh, explanation. You guys uh, get the most of the time what I'm trying to say. Okay, and then let's have a more layering. So let's do these. One, two, three, four. There you go. Okay, and then we're going to put these in the middle. Voila! See, it looks very pretty. Just a part of the coloring it don't have to have a, like a, all of them and i think that's kind of unique right sometimes like when you do this maybe it's too much so and then there's more so this one i was mentioning in my last video i was a kind of like a extreme experiment how to um do the die cast so this one's still on the testing stage later i'm going to um, put on the website if you have a digital die cut machine um, you are able to do that. So let's see which one we should do. The banana bread was uh, fabulous. You made me, you make my day. No, that's not good to go with it. My heart is a still smile. Uh, is your day enjoy? That will probably work. That's a, uh, I want to have something like a happy birthday, but uh, don't have it. Let me see. My heart is still smiling. You know, sometimes when you make a car, right? And then you probably don't have a, a lot, like a, like a here, you want to find like a perfect uh, place uh, to stamp the, the like a sentiment image. You probably going to have a problem. So this sentiment actually, I found the from the whole uh, mark, you know, those uh, car company and they, 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 they say, they say like a, a lot of uh, um, sentiment to make like a happy birthday or something. And then um, I just come out with this uh, digital tab image, create these. So I'm going to find uh, one good duo. Your thoughtfulness is a gift I will always treasure. I want to have some funny, funny, fun, like a fun sentiment. All I can say is, wow, except of course I am grateful. That doesn't go with that. Sometimes, Sometimes the simplest things mean the most. How how about these? Maybe that will work. Uh, I am humble and graceful. I am touch beyond the world. Maybe we should give him a buck. Let me see. Thank you for being my angel. Oh, how about thank you for being my angel. Yeah, your angel is a frog. <laughs> oh, put it here. Oh, I think put it. I think here. Or oh, maybe here. Oh, I think here. 
Oh, oh here. Okay, and then I'm going to just use my magic mushroom. Just uh, do at least that. So I'm still working on this uh, <coughs> tap digital. Um, it worked for the quick uh, image and still try to experiment for the skin and cut. I know a lot of you guys have a skin and cut. So, but the, these one, once when you download it, you can make it big, you can make it small. So, but the only downside is uh, every time when you make, you're going to make a bunch of them because the, um, the sentiment is already there. Is I'm not able to make only tab and then you fill it out the sentiment. That's a little bit more complicated. Okay, and then before you guys leave, I want to show you guys uh, our 3D eyeball. 3D eyeball. Three D eyeball is one of my best video I have ever created because those uh, eyeball is just uh, amazing. So let me bring a little bit closer so you can do. Well, actually, let me see if I have a red, orange, and a red color. I can't wait to go to the show because I'm so low of inventory. I need uh, this kind of transparency color. I kind of need like a solar color, but I don't have it. So I'm going to do my best. What I'm going to do is, let's do with uh, white. And we're going to add yellow. So the toe, I can make a little bit more red if you want to. So I'm going to just use this uh, new have you guys watched my 3D eyeball video? That's one of my best video. You can create those kind of funny 3D. I need my poking tool. Poking tool. Poking tool. Can't find the poking tool. Where did the poking tool go? My table is so mess. Okay, I'm going to, I don't, I can't find my poking tool. Ooh, that kind of, I'm going to just make a, the eyes a little bit, my icing a little bit more smooth. Okay. If you guys haven't watched my 3D eyeball video, you guys go to the video, watch that this afternoon. Is the best video I create. There's too many different kind of eyes. Okay, let me bring it close to you. Okay, not yet. More. Let's add a little red. My my this three D dimensional glue is uh, transparency. I want a solid color. But I don't have it. So let's try. Maybe red. Just a little bit. After they dry, they will stay in the 3D. <laughs> Look at this eyes. Isn't that cute? Not yet. I'm going to add a little bit black. That's one of my best video okay for the black I only want oh, I have to find my poking however this is sharp tweezer maybe it will work mm. why my table is always messy I need a piece of paper oh here okay so the black dots I'm going to just uh, put a little bit here and then where is the poking? Let me find my poking tool. Poking tool. Where is the poking tool? I have a 
have a few on my table and then why it all disappeared? Okay, I can't find my poking tool. So I'm going to just use uh, this tweezer. Just to pick up a little bit black. Just give a little bit. If you made a mistake, you can just wipe off with your finger. Aha! Look at my eyes. Is that amazing? If you haven't watched this video, got to watch this uh, uh, how to make a 3D glass eyeball and then that's uh, one of my favorite video because uh, the, there's uh, too many different kind of shape you can you can create uh, with uh, this uh, 3d dimensional glue okay so that's today's video and I'm glad finally I got to connect with the uh, Facebook and the YouTube together and I hope you guys enjoy this video and then I'm going to working on more video and make sure you subscribe local Kings YouTube channel and make sure you like uh, Facebook we are going to have a super sale in July because we are going to Orlando and the ha we haven't been any show over two years so in Orlando if you have a friend in Orlando maybe you should, you, you guys can send them to the show floor we're going to offer buy three get two for free it's an awesome awesome promotion and I know a lot of you guys that um, cannot come to the Orlando and then so we are going to offer the same deal online so make sure you subscribe Local Kings YouTube channel and uh, sign up our newsletter. And then once uh, when I figured out how we are going to do that, I am going to have uh, more information out. Also, this year is a uh, um, Local Kings uh, 15 years anniversary. I think we started this business in 2007, right? It's uh, 2007. It's 15 years. Yeah, so 15 years and 15 years later, we are almost semi-retired. But uh, I will still keep my online store um, running and I just love this uh, car making. I think if we're making car um, consider as an exercise, so we probably will be very healthy, aren't we? So, but too bad it doesn't burn that much calorie. So hoping you enjoyed um, today's video. If you do like this channel, uh, this video, make sure you give me a thumb up. And for my Facebook fan, if you like this video, you know, or YouTube YouTube video, it doesn't have any commercial. The only way you can help us to explore um, local King Robert Stem to your friend is by sharing this video, and we really need it. So. Thank you so much for watching this little stuff on local King Robert Stamp. See you next time soon. Bye guys. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.